Hello there, my name is Luciano Oliveira. I am a Brazilian attorney, and today we're going to be talking about the Brazil permanent residency application, and most specifically about the three most important documents for your application. The most important document for your application is going to be the marriage certificate. The marriage certificate, usually it's going to be issued abroad for most of our clients. And therefore, this document is going to need to be legalized and authenticated before you can actually apply for the legal residency in Brazil. To get your marriage certificate legalized and authenticated, you're going to have two different routes. One route is going to be through the Brazilian consulate or embassy abroad in your country of residence. And the second route is going to be through the apostille route. You can see an example of an apostille here in the screen. Through the consulate, you're going to usually have exact instructions provided by the consulate closest to your address. They are going to ask you for a copy of your authentic marriage certificate in the same country in which the consulate is sitting, they are going to ask for documents of both spouses and they are going to ask you for a few other documents. The good thing is that the consulate in theory would walk you through the requirements to get the transcription issued by the consulate. In other words, in addition to the original marriage certificate, from your country of residence, you're going to have a transcription of this marriage certificate into Portuguese using the official Brazil paperwork by the consulate. There is an additional step which is going to be record both the original marriage certificate and the transcribed version provided by the Brazilian consulate in a local registry in Brazil. Usually it's not difficult to do so and as long as you provide the correct paperwork they are going to record everything and issue surprisingly to many a Brazilian marriage certificate mirroring all the information existing in the original marriage certificate. The apostille route, it does not involve the Brazilian consulate. This is going to be helpful for those who are living far away from a Brazilian consulate or embassy, or for some reason have had bad experiences with a consulate in the past and want to avoid such route. The apostille route basically requires you to get an apostille on your marriage certificate from abroad and complete additional authentication steps in Brazil, such as obtaining a sworn translation that's going to be completed in Brazil only and a subsequent registration in a specific type of registry in Brazil known as the RTD, which in Portuguese means Registro de Títulos e Documentos. The RTD registry exists in pretty much most cities in Brazil, and this registry is in charge of recording documents so that they are going to have a public acceptance in different departments and entities in Brazil. In addition to the marriage certificate, there is a need for an apostilled version of the birth certificate for the foreign citizen applying for the permanent residency in Brazil. For the Brazilian spouse, of course, there's going to be the traditional birth certificate issued in Brazil. But for the foreign citizen spouse, there is such need as of getting an apostille. And you can see an example of an apostille here on our screen for a birth certificate. Once the birth certificate receives the apostille, this document must be sworn translated in Brazil. Important to note again that sworn translations are provided in Brazil exclusively. So if you try to get this thing done abroad, and if they offer you a certified or stamped or any term of translation, this is not going to work in Brazil. You must hire a sworn translator in Brazil to handle this process. In addition to those two documents, the third most important document is going to be the criminal records for the foreign citizen applying for residency in Brazil. In the United States, for instance, the criminal records must be issued by the FBI. 
they must be nationwide and they must be issued for the last 10 years. In many states, Identical Go, which is a private service, they are going to facilitate the issuance of the FBI criminal records on your behalf. Depending on the state, other service providers are going to be assisting as well with the issuance of the FBI records. It is important for you to time the issuance of the FBI records since in Brazil, most departments of Polícia Federal are going to want to receive records that are no older than 90 days at the time of application. Additionally, for those applicants who have been a few months in Brazil, there is going to be a need for criminal records from Brazil as well. Typically, these criminal records are going to be issued in Brazil by the state in which you have been residing and the federal police as well. These documents may have different requirements depending on the police station in which you are applying. In our experience, although these documents are going to be the same across the board, there may be slightly different requests when it comes to authentication and secondary documents. For the criminal records, unfortunately, it's not uncommon for foreign citizens to have some issues showing on their reports. Brazil traditionally is not going to have a big issue when you have a misdemeanor. However, if you do have felonies in your records, there may be an issue or even a bar for a residency in Brazil. If you have a problem such as a felony, we highly recommend you to schedule a consultation with our firm to discuss alternatives and how to minimize the impact of a felony in your application. Although it's not guaranteed that you can still obtain a residency despite of a felony, there is always a better way to present such records and reduce the chances of a denial. Another important document requirement is that you're going to need to prove that you are residing in Brazil. Therefore, for those trying to apply from abroad, you must understand that the purpose of the Brazilian residency for foreign citizens is for to allow them to live in Brazil and not to have an easy time when arriving at the Brazilian customs. Therefore, documents on this behalf may be required, such as a proof of residency through a utility bill, a declaration under penalty of perjury that you are actually residing in Brazil, and even a potential visit from the Brazilian Federal Police to the address that you are providing for your application. Many other documents are required, and in addition to the standard list of documents required, other documents may be requested by the Brazilian Federal Police at their wish. I hope this content was helpful. If it was, I ask you to please like our content so other people can find it, subscribe to our channel to see other similar videos in the future, and remember about our live streams on Wednesdays and Sundays in which you can have topics of your interest discussed. So how tough do you think these document requirements are? Let us know in the comment section below. I hope to see you in our next videos.